Sir, you wouldn't happen to have the time, would you? No. Sir, I don't mean to be a pest, but I see that you're wearing a watch. And yet, when I just asked you for the time, you said no. Have I offended you in some way? No. Not at all. But, sir, I don't understand. Why won't you just tell me the time? Well, when you first came and sat down, I noticed you. You seem like a nice, nice enough young man, clean cut and all. You seem interested in the world and its affairs, uh, I, by the particular paper you're reading. <laughs> then you asked me for the time. And I figured, if I gave it to you, you might strike up a conversation. And you would probably tell me about yourself. And I would probably like you, and we would become friends. Then I would probably invite you to my house sometime to meet my family. If that happened, you would meet my wonderful daughter, whom I love very much. She would probably like you, and you would probably like her, too. So the two of you would likely become friends and then go out on a date. <laughs> if that happened, chances are you would fall in love and get married. And I'll be damned if I'm going to let my daughter marry any man who doesn't own a watch. Or at least carry a cell phone.